every wasteland buddy well we've got some only overload going on because we're in that town called old Ulm. Um we've been here in the last video we cleared half of the perimeter and what we're doing we're just kind of skirting the perimeter and clearing it of all death claws because uh, there is a death claw infestation all around uh, this downtown area uh, and we saw one on the radar at the end of the last video so I know one's over here we're gonna have to take him out so am I let's do it and there it is haha -ha. now um, I'm using a metal blaster and I think he's oh he almost got me and he got me damn it it just cost me three stim packs son of a bitch all right so the metal blaster is uh, dropping in its condition. We're gonna have to repair it pretty soon. We can repair it with a laser rifle. Or a, uh, yeah, laser, just laser rifles are the only thing we can repair it with. So we're gonna look for that. Uh, we just lost Fox, I think, and there's another death claw. Yeah, we lost him. Okay, we're gonna have to go it alone. Let's just risk it for the biscuit and uh, remember the bottle cap mines are effective against these guys, so let's drop one and oh here he comes But it's a little too close for comfort. I took some damage there, too So I get out the gauss rifle remember the gauss rifle can paralyze these people and he got me again You son of a bitch look I'm almost dead All right, and bonk there You use the gauss rifle to paralyze enemies and then you can as long as they're down you can keep pumping holes in them and then they'll be okay well there's Fox he took the long way around thanks let's uh, get rid of this uh, heartbeat yeah uh, yeah yum yum doubled eggs and there we go okay so remember like I said we're clearing the perimeter this is the perimeter of old only this we're looking north right now um, there's like an interstate that goes on and on outside of the map uh, we're pretty much at the northeastern corner of the map, and we can't go much farther north. Yep, we knew that. And, oh look, a sewer grate that leads to the power works, uh, but we need a key for that. All right, fine. And I think Fox, because he went this way, he took this death claw out. We didn't even see him take that out. So, see, like, a uh, quite... Uh, there's a lot of continuity in this engine. I like it. That's one thing I like about Bethesda's engines. At least there's believability and continuity. Um, all right. Oh, there was the death claw we killed. So now we have to go. We have to find that sewer entrance. That's how we move this uh, broken steel quest along. It's called. Ah, oh shit! I forgot what it's called. But anyway, we need to find a Tesla coil. Uh, that the Brotherhood is going to use to build an experimental weapon. And the Tesla coil is somewhere in the only power works, but we couldn't get in through that grate. We have to go another way. We have... Ooh, check that out really quick. Uh, the town hall. You see all the shadows on that thing? And I get stuck on rebar. Nothing worse than getting your character stuck on freaking rebar. It's better than getting penetrated anally by the rebar. Okay, there it is. There's the sewer grate. Uh, remember, I also forgot a stim pack last time, so let's grab that. There it is. And into the sewer grate. Und? Spooky. Now, what do we got here? We Probably more death claws. There's a death claw, and it sounds like a death claw is opening doors. They figured out how to open doors. Tell me what a oop! Ah, here it is. Ah, boom! Got him, and we're being flanked. I knew it. We're being flanked on both sides. So that's where the Gauss rifle comes in handy. You can paralyze both of them. That's what I see. He's trying to. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> He's trying to get out. They don't have a chance with this Gauss rifle. It's kind of overpowered, actually. Yeah, in fact, it's way overpowered. But anyway, getting flanked by two death claws is always fun, right? And oh, he's not dead yet. So I'll blast him with more. There we go. Now the metal blasters. Uh, the condition has really started to drop. Now, uh, oh, another one! Oh my god! 
I got the ceiling. Did you see my blast points? So I'll hit the ceiling. Come on, death. All right. With this is the Eve mod, EVE, Energy Visuals Enhanced. Uh, when you strike something with a laser rifle or like this, a metal blaster, you see the blast points. They light up on the walls and on the ceiling. It's kind of fun. And they're always unique, like they're, uh, it's an algorithm that changes. And it shows you how inaccurate each individual beam is, but together they make a pretty good weapon. Okay, uh, we're clearing this area out. Nuka Cola Quantum. Uh, two missiles, so there should be a missile launcher here, there. And then I have one, so I repair mine. And the Fat Man. There it is. There's the Fat Man in Old Olney. Uh, I've already got one, so I'm going to repair the fat dude with, my, with this fat dude. Okay. Actually getting turned on talking about dudes. I better stop it. All right. I mean, not not fat. I'm not attracted to fat guys, but, but it, never mind. Never mind. Nothing against fat people. No, overweight people. I used to be overweight. Don't worry. Anyway, moving along here. Um, okay, awkward. Moving, switching the subject. Uh, let's keep... Oh, check this out. There is a uh, guy with a power armor. I'm going to show you. It's unique power armor. It's medic power armor. Check that out. Medic power armor manual and prototype medic power armor. What it does is it pumps you full of medics when you wear it. But um, it turns out that's the only buff it has. And it's nothing compared to mine. I've got a... Uh, remember, I've got what's-his-name's um, power armor. I'll show you in a second. And she's got babe shades. Uh, I've already got some. Uh, I, I go back and grab it. I didn't realize at the time that it was worth so much. Here's my armor. It's a uh, tribal power armor. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing. See? There's so many buffs, but this doesn't have any buffs, so I repair my armor with it. And also fix the plasma rifle. And then my fat man, I told you, I can repair mine. And then I'm done. There's something in this uh, corridor. Remember to explore everything because it turns out there is something at the end. I'll show you what it is. It is a stolen But he was reading something when he died and it was duck and cover. <laughs> Remember now I'm all about skill books because my I'm at level 30 so I can't add any more skill points anymore. It's all going to be skill books and bobbleheads. Bobbleheads can buff certain skills by 10, so I gotta start looking for those. And you're gonna see just how painful, painfully obvious it is in a minute um, coming up here. Uh, which, and now you realize I'm narrating this after the fact. You know, I record this in uh, bullet time and then I recorded at 15 frames a second so that later I can double the speed to 30 frames a second and then the result is silky smooth I mean you should be seeing a totally smooth um, uh, completely decked out graphically enhanced version of Fallout 3 right now and that's what I, lo I love doing this even though it's so much work you know I have to add my own soundtrack in and if you notice there's new a new soundtrack I'll tell you about it in a minute um, because we've got death claws how do we know well there's that red death blip on our radar see there's a death blip let's open her up and we get an idiot claw yeah, smash! Ah, he can't reach me. And then I've got Fox to distract him. Let's uh, use a plasma mine. But we have to get out of the way so we don't kill ourselves. There we go. We're far enough away. <laughs> Death. Nice. So one plasma mine won't kill him. But if he's down to about half health, then you can use a plasma mine. Okay, here's a locked door. We'll, we'll check that out in a second. There's a, a locked safe. Let's open her up. And we get bottle caps and pre-war money. Um, let me know if uh, you know I do things too fast in here. Here's a locked door. Check it out. See the message? You need a lockpick skill of 100. All right. So something major is behind it. My skill is only 92. 
So if I look at my aid, I can uh, pump myself full of Mentats. That's the Perception buff. And then here's another Perception oh, Lockpick buff. And then a Perception buff, Babe Magnet Shades. And I have a Shady Hat. Even with all that, I only wind up at 99. I'm like one point short of opening that freaking door. So I'm going to have to deal with this later. But there is something major behind it. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, yeah, I need to switch back to my power armor, but I've got a vault suit and stupid sunglasses on in a sewer. How do you like that? And I th there's another death claw up here. How do I know? Well, <laughs> there it is. And like an idiot, what do I do? I take out a plasma mine and I blow myself up. Actually, no, the death claw got me and mauled me. So I'm a little bit more cautious this time, and I'm wearing my power armor again, like I'm supposed to. Okay, missile launcher. Um, this is good. Boom. It cripples him. So once they're crippled, they can only limp along, and then I cripple him again. So now, see? He can barely come at us now. So we're okay. And Fox is going to have to finish up. All right. No, no, no. Yeah, he says that a lot. All right, so moving along, let's keep exploring the rest of the sewer. Um, our objective is right over here. There's a ladder. That's where we'll go up, but there's still more to look at. There is Deathclaw? Nope. Guess not. Okay. Oh, there's a Protectron. Let's open him up, and he can, we can turn him to our side. Uh, Funny thing, remember to match your brackets and you can reduce the chance for errors. If I can get it down to like four passwords, then I can just click through them. See, I got it down to two, so I didn't even have to worry about it. And then I run the maintenance routine, and there goes the Protectron. Protectron. Loading personality. <laughs> Robco RS3. Oh, shit! Oh, my freaking god! And I blew the protector on to smithereens. He lasted a whole five seconds. <laughs> well, you know, if I didn't kill him, the death claw would have mauled him. Oh, God. <laughs> Protectrons are almost worthless. Why even have them? Yeah, that was a fun game and mechanic early on because they're as powerful as you are and they can help you in uh, subways, but you know, when you get to this point, I mean, what's the use, right? Unless there's like a super protectron. There are, there was a special flavor of protectrons in the pit. Oh, there was that card. You know, if he did survive, then he'd ask you, please identify yourself. And then if you had that card, he wouldn't attack you. But otherwise, he would attack. Uh, I'm collecting dirty water because, um, look at my health, and I'm low on stims, remember? Uh, I was going to go back to Megatron, yeah, Megatron, Megaton, but I didn't. Oh, this goes back to Old Olney, outside. Oh, if you fall through that um, grate, you know, through that, uh, like, drainage grate, that's where it goes. So you can't get back up that way. It's just like a dead end for us. Here's more crap that I missed. God dang be more careful not to miss this stuff. Okay, so we've explored the sewer. Let's go up to Old Only Underground. And what? The? <gasps> How the hell did you get in here, Smooth Skin? What's his name? Went. Uh, who are you? And what are you doing in here? Hey, uh, I'm Went. Uh, okay. This is Kid. Kid Went. Uh, well, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> Only thing that matters now is that we're trying to steer clear of the death claws on account of not wanting to be lunch meat. Don't steer clear of them, just kill them. If there's so many death claws around, how'd you survive? <laughs> we ran faster than the others, that's how. Oh, you gutless ain't idiot. nothing honorable about it, but we're still alive, and they ain't. Heartless, I can live with that. heartless and gutless. Listen, this wasn't my fault, okay? It wasn't my idea to tunnel down here. I just went along with it. Oh, what a leader you but are. But whatever. What's done is done. Me and Kid, we're getting out of here. You came in that way, that means we can get back. Uh, home. not... See you later, Kid. Oh, wait! Ha what? Well, f frack you too. Let's... Uh, anyway. 
anyway we're here so in the underground so why don't we just pick up in the next video right here uh, then we'll keep exploring and eventually find that Tesla coil all right so if you like this one you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get all these Fallout 3 videos in your inbox I also upload Skyrim I upload Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea uh, Thief, Elder Scrolls Online. On May 20th, I'll start another raw footage of uh, Wolfenstein, The New Order. And starting April, May 27th is Watch Dogs, my full end-to-end -end walkthrough. All right, we'll see you next time in Old Only. Thanks for watching.